This panoramic print of the New York City shoreline was made by famous printmaker Charles Balthazar Julien Fevret de Saint Memin. The title, The City of New York a Hundred Years Ago, indicates that it depicts the shoreline in about the 1690s, since St. Memon was working in the city in the 1790s. It is one of three New York City landscapes attributed to St. Memon. The caption states that the vantage point for the image was at the foot of Pierpont Street, facing westward. The view of Lower Manhattan from the foot of Pierpont Street remains accessible today. It depicts the area from the battery on the left, as you face the print, to the location of the future Brooklyn Bridge on the right. This view was the entire north-south extent of New York City at the turn of the 19th century. There are noteworthy buildings visible, including Trinity Church, above the words Pierpont in caption. It is also possible to discern a small portion of John Jay's presumed birth house at the far left end of the first inlet from the left side of the image. Charles Balthazar de saint memon was born in Dijon, France, on March 12, 1770. He had a short career as a French military officer, but fled the country at the onset of the French Revolution. He arrived in New York City in 1793, and the next decade spent in America was the most prosperous of his career. saint memon lived for a time at the home of John R. Livingston, who was a second cousin to Sarah Livingston J. Although much more prominent as a portraitist with his invented version of the pantograph, St. Memon did draw several landscapes and city plans early in his career. His first landscape, View of the City and Harbor of New York, was drawn from John Livingston's home on Mount Pitt, a very small hill on the Lower East Side, about where Pitt and Grand Streets intersect today. Livingston told St. Memon biographer Monsieur Philip Guinard that his home had, quote, a superb view, which on one side included the entire harbor. Livingston also said that it, charmed by the beauty of the landscape, Monsieur de St. Memon made a very exact drawing of it. <laughs>